Sin doesn't live here anymore. And this is a message that the saints of God should take and say, you know what? I don't have to be subject to the rudiments of this world. I don't have to be subject to these temptations that come and cause me to do wrong. I don't have to be subject to evil. I don't have to break God's law. I can walk. I can walk in holiness. I can walk in righteousness. Now, I have the righteousness of God through Jesus Christ, through the cross. I have that. And because of grace and the development component of grace, I can grow and mature to the extent that I don't have to let the enemy take advantage of me and use me to do evil. I don't want the enemy to use me to do evil. Amen. And a lot of things, you know, a lot of things, we say they are small things, and we accommodate them, and we tolerate them, yeah. and we really need to overcome them. Amen. You know, our temper that make us go off on folk, yes. you know, yeah, I, I, you know, it gets popular sometimes, you know, you, I see on my job sometimes people that you know, get into the hype and they're walking around, quote scripture, wearing t-shirts with word on it. Then the next thing you know, they're in, the, in HR because they done went off on somebody. And so the HR department is telling them, we got to fire you because we don't allow fighting around here. And you're a child of God and you, you're the one fight. You know, there's, there's, some, there's some reefer smoking folk ain't fought nobody, ain't said nothing bad to nobody. They come in in a daze every morning. But they don't say nothing bad to nobody. The boss tell them, go do this. And they, yes, sir. And you come in with your Holy Ghost self, and you're the one always in trouble. That was good right there. That, 